Welcome back. You're watching Sport at 10. We've got a great story for you on this Women's Day where we're celebrating the great women of South African sport. Maud Kumalo is one of those great women. She did it with Banyana Banyana, playing at the back, playing with that jersey number 10 in the middle of the park as well. And now you've gone on to being a coach. Maud, how are you? I'm fine. And how are you, Thomas? I'm good, but I'm looking at you and I'm again, I was sneaking a 15, 20 minutes <laughs> towards the end of the game. Man. Uh, yeah? yeah, I can do that. Anytime, Maud. <laughs> sure. Yeah, tennis of whom? Straight. Yeah? Yeah. Still got. Bona, se kazini, bona. Ah, I'm not sure. <laughs> but I'm you. let's, before we go back and celebrate some of the great things that you've did, yeah. I want to talk about the great things you're doing now. Okay. As a coach, you have been with TUT, right? Yes. This is a men's team. Yep. It la go SAB a league, ne? Not yet. Well, you were there, right? You were there towards the playoffs. No, like we are supposed to play the playoffs, so uh -huh. they've been postponed to uh, uh, further notice, yeah. But so postponed nearly? Yes. Yeah, Coach Ganja, I That There were some things they need to sort out before we go and play. But TUT says, e, our men's team needs a coach. Mm. And then they look all over South Africa <laughs> and they come up with Maud Kumal. Oh. How does that even come up? No, but it's a men's team. Normally then we I don't see that happen. No, basically like before me, there was a lady who was coaching that team. And I mean, back then I was playing for a ladies team at TUT. Uh. Yeah, so now what happened was I lost my job in 2013. I was a manager in Total Sports. Uh -huh. So I lost my job. Then I volunteered at NGO. Then I was coaching these uh, Nyaupe boys in football. I was <laughs> like, I was like, I I'm not joking. Seriously, like being volunteer. I'm not joking. Hey, I'm But it's talented corner, honestly speaking. Yeah? Yeah, we once made um, uh, friendlies in uh, uh, radio station. It was fun. But so, referee, I got penalty at Ah, yeah, but I must go to the lab, but I'm not going to go. So, you get the opportunity. Yes. They come to you, they say, listen, coach our men's team. Yeah, they give me a call, then I send my CV at TUT, then 2014, 2015, I took over. Uh -huh. Yeah, but I'm not going to go to the I started being as a player, yeah, and I was just playing Nabo, not training them, yeah, uh -huh. joining as a player. So they thought I'm one of the girls. So I said to you, so And then first season, number two in the league under your coaching. First season was a position eight. Uh -huh. Yeah. And then second season, position two. And the third season is now where I took the league. Oh, in the league? Yeah, bo. No, okay. <laughs> you see, this is the thing that I really don't understand. Okay. Is what happens after the game when you meet the male coaches of the other team? And no. then, <laughs> Honestly speaking, it was challenging because some of them, they were not taking it as, uh, like, Gatli. I want, they were, some, they were swearing at me, swearing my uh, players, things like that. I want. So that's yes, it's true. It was somewhere, somewhere, it was not good, but eventually they admitted with, no, you know your story, you know? So when we play my first round, they didn't believe with this woman can coach these boys like this, you know, because I always have my own language to communicate with my players, mm. which they won't understand, bro. Now, uh, like I whistle, when I whistle, they know what does that mean. When I say kiss, they know what that mean, you know. When I say leninyama, they know what does it mean. Oh, no, so the secret open language. Yes, yeah, secret language. So and open <laughs> You know, just to make it clear yes. to South Africans, your record winning the league this season was 26 games, 21 wins. Yes. So it's literally, and I'm sure I'm not going to even be contradicting on this one, 21 male coaches got a hiding <laughs> from Maud Kumalo <laughs> this season. 21? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. No, what But it's cars, I'm not I sh you know, sometimes... What have you got that they don't have? No, I mean, what I did, what I realized in these two past season. Uh, I realized with the teamwork is very important and to combine the team to be one. So what made us win this year, it, we were like one thing, you understand? Because of even if I'm away, the boys, they can still play, mm. you understand? So I've made sure with, like we are family and we fight for each other. So that's the uh, most important thing in the Wutis Winnie League this year. And number qualifications. Yeah. I see you hiding, you know, there's <laughs> hiding the Safa logo there, but... Um, okay. Well, pair to my qualifications. Yes. Show, shine a little bit. Tell <laughs> us a little bit about when those coaches now see you coming on the touchline. They must just say, ah, it's just, uh, just a woman coach here. You are highly qualified. Yes, I've obtained my B license uh, in 2014, like SAFA, mm. and I went to Germany in 2015 to do a UFB uh, B license also. So, petty wafer B? Yes. Yeah? 
and then um, I've obtained also an A license. UEFA? A license. You have got your UEFA A license? No, not UEFA. It's like a CAF A. Oh, CAF. Yeah. I was, yeah, when I was moving <laughs> to the edge of my <laughs> chair. <laughs> no, I'm saying it to man. But there's still uh, uh, a <laughs> <No. laughs> Thank you, Sokama. UEFA A license. No, but yeah, you've got your CAF A license. Yes, so yes, your next step is then to go back to Europe and do that? Yeah. I, I, um, in the you know, some, because sometimes as a woman, we need to. <laughs> To share what we have, like knowledge is nice. Yeah, when it doesn't mean good, you have to coach only male. You understand? Mm. And then also, as we female, we learn from the guys. Yeah, man. So it's a collective thing for me now, like actually. And then, have you got your dress and uh, or your tracksuit or whatever it is you're gonna wear for the G Sport Awards? Eh, you shine in. Because you're nominated, eh? I know. Nominated. <laughs> G Sport Awards Coach of the Year nominee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But eh, at first I didn't believe it. Even now I like. Yeah. You know, sometimes some things, mazis are like, you think, eh, hey, Himilo, serious, you know? Because of I'm this kind of person, I mean, I, I let my job do, do the talking. I, mm. I don't expect much, but uh, I let my job cool me as much. I, I want to show South Africans that you used to play. So let's just take <laughs> them back to some of those days back in the Yo. day when Maud used to, <laughs> and they like Jay-Z, man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what 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 are the Yes, my little cheese ones are like. Wow. Yeah. Look at the team there. So <laughs> I know Valina, but my real one. They don't know me. Pelly ten is not for just any player. Ah, uh, Maramina, you know what I believe? We would like in number in number. When as a person who ends, I would see. Hey, it's a beggar. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, what go with ten? Spega when every touch has to be a good touch. Ten years and tap no hand. That's the thing I, that I couldn't understand. I wanna bring his agat, let us agat a love with it ten ganja and a mover. It's um castle store sitches in number ten. Ujale move on ten. Yeah. I banana being a coaster. Basira. Ah, yes. Ish la good in that. You go shine into the tolo, Lana. Eh. I'm a pillar pelatina smasoja, la to croco croco, Lana. I want a good mong and that. I would bring a thing, and you want to win Zagalinda. But let's talk about jersey number ten at yeah. the back with a defender. No, basically, jersey number ten, Lea, and I got a little must select a man number. Mina initially being number twelve. Mm. Of which I got push him. Yeah, I'll push him. I wanna. Yeah. I'm a hundred goals. Uh, you can't have yeah. it. Yeah. So in number twelve, mean I choose number twelve. Push him. Chose in number ten. Then I take more. Hey, hey, hey. The number ten zone for the pressure. Yeah, when I then we change numbers. I remember we say Eslen Park before. Susu Lala A Flo Slorus. Then I talk in a fine. Let's say like Musa Koga anyway. Yeah, over. yeah, because of they used to go out and I'm not. And back then she didn't make the squad. Yeah, when then I die. So I got. Yeah, well. I'm just about up with time with you. But what's your message? to women out there on Women's Day? Okay, to all the women out there, I'd like to say Happy Women's Day, and I wanna tell them whatever that you believe in, uh, stand by it, and don't give up in your dreams. Even in a man's world? Definitely. Because you're killing them. <laughs> 21 of them, <laughs> male coaches <laughs> this season. Thank you very much for being with us tonight on Sport at 10.